Hello, Narnia here. Welcome back to Grim Dawn. So last episode we braved Smuggler's Pass. Now we found find ourselves in a Deadman's Gulch, which, unlike the previous area, it's not infested with trolls, but it's infested with undead. At least so it seems. Ah, and we're back to trolls. That was only a temporary setback. Are they throwing nets at me? Take out this uh, hunter first, and then we go back to the main one. So we are on our way to Homestead. So far the path is pretty long and dangerous. But on the other hand, we haven't been playing for a minute and we've already defeated our first named one with a bunch of loot. So we're off to a good start. Flash Warped Commander. Beastkin with Eater Corruption. That's an interesting crossover. More Flash Warped and guards. Let's see. Aldenar, the Undying. Also part of the Eater Corruption. Come on. Yes. Loot, loot everywhere. That skill's not ready. Ah, this is normally this, this areas like this. You would expect crystals to be there. In this case, it's only the, the corruption without the crystal. Daleks, the devourer dreams. Maybe I'll drop another one of the squishy brain parts. Since those are required for making relics, it seems. And the one relic I did make, I ended up giving to the city. Uh, nope, still no brain bits. But, so, hmm. let's explore up here a little bit. And there's a waypoint, that's always good. So. Yeah, let's go. So you found a waypoint. Even though it wasn't marked on the map, that's an interesting bit as well. Okay, let's uh, jump back to Smuggler's Pass. Because last time I did say, let's uh, explore one bit and then check out the rest and see what's there. Just for the sake of completeness and finding interesting side quests, wherever they might be. more misborn fighting with the corrupted there's definitely a power struggle going on and the misborn don't seem to be winning it a valiant as their effort might be okay so this is gonna hurt just going through these corrupted areas taking damage oh that's that's just a dead end that's not a good thing that's not a good thing Okay, last bit, let's get out. Okay. Interestingly, the pets don't take damage. I do, pets don't. Ooh, mark of the travel. It's a very nice modifier to put in boots. Health regen, speed, slow resistance. Unfortunately, I already have a pretty nice generic armor mod in my boots, so I'll have to wait until my next boots to put a mark of the traveler in. got any foreign trolls around here. Maybe that would be a bit too modern.
also interesting how how the narrative went from hey we have to fight the evil in old Arcovia to yeah now just move on to Harvested Har Homestead somewhere. I keep trying to say Harvested or Harvested instead of Homestead. The, uh, the narrative suddenly changed from, yeah, no, save uh, old Arcovia, and then it's like, yeah, no, don't really care about old Arcovia anymore, you've, you've saved it. So now let's just go to some, some other place. So we need food or something. Yeah. It's a, a pretty long trek without side quests or anything, so it feels like a missed opportunity. There, there could have been more to do here, rather than this being a, a pretty long journey without intermediary steps. Because if you look at just how many side quests there are in the, in the first two areas, I mean, there's, there's a ton of side quests in the swamps in the beginning, and there are quite some some side quests in the rover area when you're dealing with crumbling and then oh the old arcovia it's also it's, it's a dungeon with some some quests in it that's a pretty self-contained then you got the broken hills there pff, i think there was one quest there for the for the harpies that was kind of it but if you compare it to how much content there was in the crumbling area it's it's a bit lackluster so to say also, I think I've cleared it here, so let's move on. So, that much gold. So I think they, they probably could do with just adding a couple more side quests in, in these areas, just to bring it a bit more to life. Now there, there's flash warped vanguards here. Why? Um, now you can, can better show the struggle between the factions. Uh, help me understand it. Uh, play me out or help me play out the, the factions against each other. Or is that what actually gonna happen now? Hello, Ulgrim! Greetings taken. Had a feeling you'd be coming through here sooner or later. You have a knack for going where the killing is thickest. What did you call me? A taken. Well, formally so if we get down to semantics. The ethereal left you just before you hanged to death. I'm not correct. How do you know all of this? Well, I know that you've left quite a mess back in Kronish hideout. Not to that he didn't deserve it. That man was a twisted bastard that deserved everything he got. I also know about your heroics back in Burwich. Borden Creek nearly bested one of the most powerful inquisitors I've ever met. Yet you were able to overcome him. My sources are very good, if I say so myself. Oh, you sure, sure seem to know a lot about me. But that comes with freight. Oh, well, where are my manners? My name is Ulgrim, the first blade of the Emperor, at your service. Now that you've arrived, perhaps we can finally get out of this little predicament. First blade of the Emperor, you say? Look, I'm sure you've got many questions, but now is not the time. Hey, those people who sent me into the undead city, they said something similar. We need to get these people to homestead. So how can I help them? I stumbled upon these refugees on my way through Smuggler's Pass. The trolls were about ready to serve him for dinner before I intervened. Now we are stuck here, caught in the midst of a battle between the trolls and the ethereal wretches. Doesn't help that the only safe way through the homestead is now caved in. There's only one option, and there's no way we are making it through there alive. Well, I suppose I would. I know I'm putting a lot of weight on your shoulders, but I need you to go down into the deep into the mountain deeps. There is a seldom traveled passage there that will spit you out into the dusty road. Follow it until you reach the farmlands. Homestead should be not far beyond. You must secure the path for us. It's the only way these people will survive. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold off trolls before they come in force. Okay, let's be the good guy. Let's see, Beatrice Summers. Like many that set out with us, I was a soldier before we retired to farmlands granted us by the emperor by the empire they got some some very creative sentence structures going on in the dialogues it's really hard to read out loud because the words are not in the order you would expect them to be 
We knew how to fight and we fared better than the zombies, better against the zombies than the other groups we've encountered. That is, until the corrupted trolls appeared and drove us into the mountains, killing dozens of my brethren. Now this is all that remains, and only by the valor of Ulgrim, a man who fights like a devil. I don't know where he came from, but I think he, I don't think he is mortal. Even if he could all hold off these monsters forever, we will soon succumb to the elements. I hope you can help him deliver us from this place of death. Well, I'll do what I can. Rob Halloway, what's your story, mister? I survived two campaigns in the Northlands, only to be driven off by my hard-won lands by half-troll scum. See, they were whole half-trolls, I knew it. Those misborn. Now, in the time of the Empire's greatest need, I'm sure I'm a used-up old man with one eye and a limp. What a shame I'm alive, while so many brave veterans fell to see the rest of us this far. All the more so that I've beheld, beheld this man Ulgrim seemingly appear in age, but who yet fights with ferocity I could not match in my prime. His speed and skill is like nothing I've witnessed, even in all my years on the battlefield. I hope you can help these people, but if not, I thank you for trying. Maybe it's best that my journey ends here. I'm just a burden now to those who are still fit to carry on the fight. Don't give up yet. And there's another quest here. Yes, Colin Tavarian, what are you up to? I'm sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't help but overhear that you will be going to the mountain deeps. Yeah, that's right. So when you ask. You see, my sister Dahlia got fed up with waiting while I lay here with a gaping wound on my side. Despite Ulgrim's insistence that she stay, Dahlia set out into the depths on her own in search of rescue and medical supplies. It's been over a day now and I'm, I'm afraid that something must have happened. Would you please look for her? I fear the worst. Oh, we can do that. Okay, so, uh, last one. Tricia Windborough. My husband won't last out, there, out here much longer. We've been without food for days and our water is nearly gone now too. Please help us. Well, I'll try. So here I was lamenting the fact that there was not a lot of story and I run into people. Let's see, this is the, the cave entrance. Okay, so let's go back and clear out the little bits over there because there might be something interesting as well. But there's a little bit of story. So in terms of placement it feels a bit off. I was expecting it it's a bit earlier but maybe just some things in between. But Maybe I'm just spoiled for content. On the other hand, the game is still in beta, of course. Let's see, there's more corruption here. I mean, the game is in beta, so and they're actively working on improving Act 4. Maybe they'll do a pass over uh, Act 2 and some of the other areas of the game to fill them up. Because Act 1 is the thing that probably got the most attention because it's the oldest. Okay. Let's come in. I don't think I can hold out, damn it. Bring up a portal. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was not a smart move. <laughs> well, at least I got a portal up in time, so I can just, uh, let's see, summon all the things. Ah, might as well make a quick town stop. So all the things I don't actually need. Shields and offhand books, and weak ass armor, and boots that don't improve anything, and more things. Okay, yeah, now the best trick. Moved all the socketables over so they can just uh, stay over here and not clutter up too much. This is a still not equipable because I need to gain more levels. Okay, now we can move on. Down to the portal. And then from the portal run straight south. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so ah, 
there. There's a grave over there. Put away, went over here. Let's see, pick up the grave. It is free XP after all. And then we go back and then we move on. So what the heck is there? And how can I protect myself against it? Oh, wow. So there is a, a small island on the side there, it looks like. Then we can move on over there. I'm wondering if there's some sort of challenge or entrance. Mine entrance is sealed with a black legion. So even if I wanted to go in, I couldn't. Okay. So then we move on. What's what's in here? At least this is not insta death like the the plague infested path I tried before. I like how the how these things are all lighting up in the dark. Really nicely done. Let's see, trolls. I haven't seen those yet. There's a form of beastkin. Kind of like small trolls. They have mages. So this is pretty much sealed off. That means we head over this way. Ooh, spiders. Terrible arachnids. They look pretty aggressive. Fast and aggressive. So about a dozen of them can seem to stack in one place. Why do they have a bluish glow? Or is it just part of their aesthetic? These guys glow red. I'm wondering if it's some kind of special effect that they got or if it's just to make them stand out in the dark. As a visual aid to identify what's up ahead. Food ration is nice because I was actually losing quite some. I uh, have a lot of rations, of course, but it's always nice to uh, keep the bar full. Hey, a named insect. Blue Quicks, the defender. So my life is pretty low. And that was the boss, so there was no need to. Things are definitely starting to hurt. At least uh, in the boss fights, I start to feel the pain. It's pretty okay against normal mobs. Especially with the Raven as uh, healing back up and a uh, totem for life drain. Hey, they got the swords over their heads, that means someone is boosting, and that's this guy. Oh, look, the blind berserker. So I'm stunned. Oh no, he's just draining my energy. That's a bit of a scummish move to do. And spiders, yay. have a, a reason to drink an energy potion. <laughs> I never drink those things. And again, there's hardly ever, ever anything that actually drains my energy, so I guess that balances. Okay, more spiders. Okay, 
so in this mountain deep we have to find Natalia. And afterwards we have to find the exit. But Dahlia is our first priority here. Yeah? Let's see if we can find her. Ooh, loot explosion. Major loot explosion. I think that that tree stump actually contains more loot than the average boss monster. Funny enough. And this is a dead. But dead heads are convenient. I always force you to go back and take another route. has a, a similar issue as Path of Exile has with their special monsters. I mean most of the monsters are white and then the special ones are yellow. It follows the, the same coloring scheme as the as the items. And they are visually not very distinct. If you compare that with Diablo 3, there the boss monsters are you always notice when there's boss monsters. Here they just mix in and uh, they here uh, in, in Path of Exile at least you see they have a list of mods that are applied to them. And here you don't really see it. Uh, you know you just see well the yellow. So they're special, they probably have some kind of mod. Uh, sometimes with the, the named ones they actually have a, a suffix like the defender or something like that. That gives you a hint as to why they are special. But with the, the yellow ones you don't really have that. And even with the, the named ones, they have this pentagram floating over their head to indicate that they are named ones. And that's how you see them. But if they don't have special graphics, then they really don't stand out that much. Which I think is a, it's a shame. Because it's, it makes it easier to miss and it makes the, the boss monsters less special. Maybe the, the yellow ones, they are just more powerful versions without any modifiers or, or anything. That, sure, that, that's possible. But, yeah, I don't know, can't shake the feeling that, that it's a missed opportunity. It's same as with Path of Exile. So we cleared most of the, the bits here, so we have some exit bits over there and we have a potential exit bit over here. Let's see if we can navigate through. Okay, let's see, there's a passage here. And there's a passage over here. And then we can take the outside and then go up here. Almost like a mini maze. But we've made it out of the muck. Either this is the exit, or this is where Dahlia is, or preferably both. Okay. There's two casters in the back, let's take those out first. Oh, 
I have to play some more Diablo 3 and see what's the what specifically is the difference to, to see if I can put my finger on why I think that the boss uh, encounters uh, no with, with the blues and the, and the rares why the encounters are more meaningful there than they are here is it because they are visually distinct or is there something else about it also I've been noticing that I'm running low on physique so I'm probably gonna go back to just boosting my stop points a bit because some of the items I just don't have enough of the physique I found items that had 440 or so points which is quite a lot considering I'm spending most of my points on physique already So these are Drift Spawn Insectoids. So I think she can have multiple, probably one, one not for their faction affiliation, the other one just for the classification of what they are. That's a lot of poison coming out there. Also, treasure trove. I like treasure troves. Ooh, this chest is locked with heavy chains. It will take one dynamite to break it open and reveal the wealth inside. Luckily, I found a dynamite, so let's open it up. Okay, one yellow and a whole bunch of iron bits. Okay, we can't actually go beyond this. Luckily, I came from this side. And Dahlia Taverns Corpse. Ah, My she did not make it, unfortunately, for her. Also, let's see. Found some mods. Let's move those over to the final tab. Make some space. Let's see if we can fit a couple more items in so I don't have to go back down. It's a waste to throw the items. So we can uh, go back to Colin. Also, there's something called Ikrix the Ravener. That's probably the thing that killed Diana. Talia. Soldier Ikrix scale. So that's a pretty heavy poison cloud here. My inventory. I can't carry my inventory trying to full. kill me. can't carry anymore. Okay. Inventory Tetris. Best kind of Tetris. Also, if we just put this one over there, put this one over here, sort these little bits up here, then we can pick this up. Okay. Does this also mean it leads to an exit? That would be convenient with it. Okay, they are applying more and more just damage over time effects. Savaral Lock, the shielded. Oh, there's, there's two. Yeah, two ones with a star over their heads. That's uh, interesting. Also, I lost a pet. So, at least I'm on all the pets. Wow! That's a uh, close call. It hurts. It really hurts. I can't do that yet. Okay, I definitely want to put up a portal here in case something goes horribly awry. Okay, killed one. That's good. Can't do that yet. And we held out against the other one. And this is a massive, massive loot explosion. A recipe. Elixir of the Ancients. Okay, this is a very good time to, to end this. That's uh, that one's gold. We can jump back there. That was close to the camp, wasn't it? Yes. So we go there, we talk to people. 
Let's see, Colin. Did you find my sister? Oh, yeah, she was down there, and I'm sorry, man. Oh, thank you for the information. Oh, we gained reputation with Homestead, and we got some money. Oh, he is, uh, he's got closer. Okay, well, that's uh, been a good run again. We completed the quest, we made some progress, and we are still pretty deep into a level. So I'm just gonna <laughs> continue playing <laughs> find until I find another waypoint. Uh, yeah, Grimdom is interesting with its waypoint placement and how that doesn't always coincide with how episodes end. But hey, that's my problem, not the games, so I'll deal with it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.